students, welcome back again to another episode of learning. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ang sampling distribution of the sample mean for normal population if the variance is known and unknown. When we talk of variance, baka lang kayo malito sa mga sumusunod. So, we have population variance, ang symbol niya is sigma square, sample variance is S square, at ang variance of the sampling distribution of the sample mean is uh, sigma sub x bar square. Okay? So, kap so kapag population variance, ino-consider natin dito yung buong data ng population. Kapag sample variance, kumuha lang tayo ng part ng population at kinuha natin ang kanyang variance. Okay? So, that is sample variance. At ito namang variance of the sampling distribution of the sample mean. It, ito yung isasolve natin dito. Nagmula siya doon sa sampling distribution of the sample mean. Ngayon, kapag ang population ay normal, or normally distributed, it follows that the sampling distribution of the sample mean of any size is also normally distributed. Ibig sabihin, kahit anong kunin natin na sample size from the population, as long as na normally distributed siya, ang sampling distribution ng sample mean ay normally distributed din. Next, we have the following important formula na gagamitin natin para sa pagsusolve mamaya. So, kapag kukunin natin ang mean of the sampling distribution of the sample mean, equal lamang siya sa population mean. Okay? So, if the population variance is known, wala tayong babaguhin dun sa formula na ginamit natin sa previous lesson. So, we have uh, the variance of the sampling distribution of the sample mean is equal to the population variance over the sample size n. At kapag naman kukunin natin ang Standard deviation niya or standard error of the mean is equal to population SD over square root of N or square root of population variance over N. Okay? Paano naman kapag ang population variance is unknown? So kapag kukunin natin ang mean, kahit unknown yung variance niya, pareho lamang siya dito sa variance is known. So kapag unknown naman ang variance at kukunin natin ang variance of the sampling distribution of the sample mean of a normal population, in, gagamitin natin yung variance of the samples or sample variance. Dahil itong sample variance ay unbiased estimate ng population variance kapag ito ay normally distributed. Dapat ang population natin ay normally distributed para magamit natin yung sample variance. So, Ang pinagkaiba lang naman ng dalawa ay itong population variance, pinalitan natin ng sample variance, at itong population standard deviation ay pinalitan natin ng sample standard deviation. Let's proceed with example number 1. A population is normally distributed with a mean of 30 and a standard deviation of 10.5. Calculate the mean and variance of the sampling distribution of the sample mean given a sample of size 50. So we have the following steps. Number one, identify the given. We have the population mean of 30, ito yon. The population standard deviation, which is 10.5. And the sample size, which is 50. Next, identify the unknown. Ang hinahanap natin ay mean at variance ng sampling distribution of the sample mean. So, based on the given, Para makuha natin ang unknown, kailangan nating alamin ang formula to be used. To find the variance of the sampling distribution of the sample mean, we have to use this formula. Population variance over n, kasi given naman natin dito ay population standard deviation. So, kapag isasolve natin siya, the mean of the sampling distribution of the sample mean is equal to the population mean which is equal to 30. Then, we have this variance is equal to population variance over n. Since ang given natin ay standard deviation, then we have 10.5 square lang natin siya over 50, which is equal to 2.205. Next example number 2. In a normally distributed population with a mean of 42, a sample of size 40 is taken. If the sample variance is 15, what is the mean and standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the sample mean? So, step 1, identify the given. Population mean is 42. Ito yon. Sample variance, which is 15. Ito yon. And the sample size, which is 40. Okay, so n is equal to 40. So, ang hinahanap natin dito ay yung mean and SD of the sampling distribution. So, ito yung dalawa. 
identify the formula to be used. Dahil ang population variance is unknown, gagamitin natin ang sample variance kasi ito yung given. Dahil ang atin namang population ay normally distributed. So, this is an unbiased estimate of the population variance. So, we have the standard deviation of the sampling distribution is equal to square root of S square over N. Then, we have the mean of the sampling distribution of the sample mean is equal to population mean which is equal to 42. Then, the standard deviation is equal to square root of S square over N is equal to square root of 15, substitute lang natin sila, N is equal to 40 which is approximately equal to 0 0.61. Next, number 3. The weight of grade 10 students is normally distributed with an average of 48 kilograms and a variance of 25. Calculate the mean and variance of the sampling distribution of the sample mean given a sample of size 80. To identify the given, the population mean is 80, the population variance is 25, and the sample size is 80. So, ang hinahanap natin dito ay itong mean of the sampling distribution of the sample mean at ang kanyang variance. Identify the formula to be used. Since ang given ay population variance, so this means the variance is and the population variance is known, gagamitin natin itong population variance over n para makuha yung variance of the sampling distribution. Next, solve the problem. So, we have the Mean of the sampling distribution of the sample mean is equal to the population mean which is equal to 48 and then the variance is equal to population variance over n which is equal to 25 over 30 is equal to 0 0.3125. For the last example, a survey shows that the age of employees in a company is normally distributed with a mean of 43. Determine the mean and estimate the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the sample mean given a sample of size 27 and a sample variance of 38. So, ang mga given natin, we have the population mean which is 43, the sample variance which is 38, and the sample size of 27. Hinahanap natin ang mean of the sampling distribution of the sample mean and the standard deviation. So, dahil ang population variance is unknown, Gagamitin natin itong sample variance since ang atin namang population ay normally distributed. So, we have the standard deviation is equal to square root of the sample variance over N. Then, we have the mean of the sampling distribution of the sample mean is equal to population mean which is equal to 43. Ito yun. And then, the standard deviation of the sampling distribution of the sample mean is equal to square root of S square over N is equal to square root of 38 by substitution. Ito yung S square and then N is equal to 27 is approximately equal to 1.19. That's it for today's lesson. Thank you and have a nice day. Goodbye.